The battle at Tong Gate results in a victory for Cao Cao's army. The defeated Ma Chao retreats to the Yi province. Having recovered from the defeat at Chi Bi, Liu Bei amasses new forces with which to oppose Cao Cao and forms an alliance with Liu Zhang of the Yi province. Naming his forces Shu, Liu Bei sets out to attack on all fronts. He has Guan Yu invade the Jing province, Zhang Fei invade Hang Zhang, and convinces Kai Wengi, Queen of Fu, to assault Cao Cao's army from the rear. Cao Cao, put on the defensive, decides to handle the situation by splitting his army into three parts and fighting on all three fronts simultaneously. Okay, chat, so as a reminder, we have a three scenarios situation for this next stage. We're going to be doing all three. But chat, I actually, uh, I will not let you pick Mount Dinjun because that does almost literally nothing for us. But if chat wants to play with Dion Wei over Kai Wengi plus Deng Ai, let me know. I feel like, I feel a little bad for not giving the chat the choice on the second playthrough. If chat loves the fake Kai Wengis, I I'm okay with keeping her. I think both are decent choices. As we've seen, war... War abilities are really strong in this game, so Dion Wei being a war general is probably stronger than Kai Wengi, but Kai Wengi comes with two generals. So... It's not that she's a bad unit either, don't get me wrong, they're both very good. So we'll see what the chat wants. We'll start with, uh, I guess the Northern Campaign first. Yeah, we're sweet. Find out if Akai Wengi's fake, something different could be nice. Okay. We'll go with Dion Wei then. Who I don't think we played with ever. So unfortunately we didn't play with Wei Yan, but we'll play with Dion Wei. We, we have enough spellcasters, I think, in our army anyway. Outline your like we have Himiko, Guajia, Ujan, Cheng Yu. We already have four really good ones. We don't really need more. Since the enemy is quite far from us at this time, it is difficult to transport all our supplies. How about securing food through foraging and then hunting and living off the land? Perhaps also, we could recruit criminals by telling them, you will be forgiven if you prove yourselves in battle. Then, these men would fight without the least fear of dying. <laughs> <laughs> so evil. Yuchin, so weird. Some training's what he needs. That would be smart. Send him to a school for some workouts and serious practice. Some training and discipline will soon set him straight. Sire, what do you wish us to do? I guess we'll just go for supplies for now. I love how allegedly we have better stats than the enemy, but we know it's not true. All right, do it. But I am warning you all, do not fail me. Yes. Yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to have a lot of rally generals in this one, so having more morale might help us. The hunt went perfectly. We have secured a great supply of provisions. Another 4% morale for the whole army, which is kind of nice. Ji. The people of Han live in these lands, far from the Zhang Yuan. They and the Fu people have traded along the border for many years. Liu Bei, appealing to Kai Wengi, the Queen of Fu, persuades her to help him as he attacks several cities in Ji, which are currently under the control of Cao Cao. Cao Cao then counters with his own forces, hoping to seize the momentum from Liu Bei and crush his army. Cow. Do you, Huji? Huji, what's your take on that Jiao Chan girl? Is she really all that great? My eyes are much deeper, my figure fuller and more shapely. I'm very graceful, and my legs are longer. See, I'm much younger than her, 
She's so old. The only thing she's got going for her is that she resembles his mother. Accepted. She's really something. Forget about it. Poochie's a great big loser! I hate you, Poochie! <laughs> I'm not afraid of Kaiwengi now or any time. I invaded this land to get rich. There's incredible wealth in trade with the West. Trade with the West, my lord? I hear stories. Lands of great riches. A country of power and greatness they call Rome. I hate Poochie! I'm the cutest one! No woman compares to me! Who is that girl? I still like to think Sal Sal has just completely forgotten about Himiko. <laughs> like, she's just there and he just doesn't even, doesn't recognize her at all. He's like, oh right, we have a mage. Like, even though she presents strategies to him. The enemy is massing to attack us from three sides. At the moment, all we know is that the army is being led by Deng Ai. In this battle, Kai Wengi's forces must be run from the field for us to win. We must hit them hard. If our forces break and retreat, then that will be our doom. State your strategies. My lord, this is how we'll do it, if it pleases you. We hear that the enemy commander, Deng Ai, wants to defect to our side. Deng Ai is famous for both his wisdom and his courage. I think we should take him up on He's this He's famous for his absolutely trash magic score that's, he like, says, really however, difficult to level for no reason. directly with Lord Cao Cao. Please go alone and strike a deal, my lord. Seriously, his his abilities are so bad. I think he's like the only general Please, where I feel it's a downgrade. All this talk of defecting may just be a trap by Dang Ai. For you to go alone, my lord, would be risky. Please, let my troops go with you. Oof. Cow Cow, you haven't heard my strategy yet. Instead of going with Hu Ji, go with my men. I'm the best protection you have. My lord, which okay. strategy will you From what I remember apply? from playing this a long time ago, Imiko. Imiko is a trap. I think both Lu Zhan and Hu Zi both work, but I like Hu Zi going to the north to kind of finish things up quickly. But we'll, we'll choose this one again. Let's use this strategy. Battle! Yes, yes sir! It is unfortunate that that's just like a complete bait because you'd think all of them would result potentially in getting the recruit. So it just forces you to soft reset if you don't know it. That's, that's probably my least favorite version of, of like, well, not version, my least favorite overall mission. Just because I feel like it's so dependent on you knowing how they'll react in order to get the other general. Very dumb. So we should just get Dang Ai immediately. Dang Ai. I must have your assistance in this matter. Come serve with me. I am at your service. Come, use my forces. Together with me, we can conquer it all. Okay. So we know that they have more... They're probably more Kai Wanky fakes. What we're gonna do... Uh, Deng Ai will just straight up attack. Wait, does Deng Ai have arrows? He doesn't. Run. Have him come in. We'll have Huzi clean this up. And we'll have maybe. Hmm. Have see how Duan move upwards slightly so Himeko could go. or Chengyu could go this way. And we'll have Sao Sao, I think, go this way. And I think we're good. That way I got a good mix of war versus magic. While still keeping myself relatively protected. I feel like Huzi will more likely kill the enemy very quickly. Comparatively. I don't think either unit has archers, to my knowledge. Yeah. Sao Sao has Lujan. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Chad. He's at 1,400 troops? Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. How much experience have we been feeding Salso? Jeez. Yeah, his war ability is pretty good, even though he has uh, no actual ways to improve it. I lie, chat. We actually leveled him enough that he has charge going forward. Okay, well, it's just over then. We need Lu Zhen with more experience, though. She's very close to getting another spell. Cheng Yu is, I think, completely maxed. Yeah, Cheng Yu can't do anything else. Cheng Yu's too good. These team with Battle Cry and Rally. Kind of a bad team, honestly. At least we improve Zia Hao Duan's war ability. He's about on par with Cao Cao now, after the duel. She's a by herself. That's also pretty bad. Oh well. Much we could do there. Um, I'm actually just gonna have Deng Ai maybe block for somebody. Who's her weakest unit? Is it Zia Hao Duan? No, I think it'd have to be Himiko, but Cao Cao's there. Yeah. Let's actually have uh, Deng Ai come this way. I'll just have him block for a bit. Let Huzi just kill this enemy outright. Alright, so we're clumping together. So I really don't want to leave the base, so that's, if you're wondering why I'm positioning like the way I'm positioning, Zhu Shu, wait a minute, hold on. What is this? <laughs> well, there, there's the extra fight, chat. Uh, well, I'm glad we have uh, Deng Ai blocking potentially some of this BS. Let's bring him over here. And we need Zihao Duan to probably move slightly further forward. Not gonna lie, this is a pretty nasty team up. So yeah, we're gonna do something like this. Move Dang Eye downwards to block, maybe. Go back to Huzi real quick. And she has arrows. That's. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh. Oh. Why is somebody joining the fight? Hello? I did not tell you. Uh, chat, I did not tell him to join the fight. You all saw I told him to go downwards, but not like into the enemy. That's so BS. Alright, so Cheng Yu's in trouble. So now I have to wait for them to ungroup, and that messed me up. Fine, whatever. You have Iron Wall? Oh, you have an Iron Wall. That's so annoying, actually. Uh, I think we have to go into battle here. I really need Zia Hao Duan to come in. There we go. AI minus the eye, pretty much. We're gonna rally, I think, immediately so I don't die. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We have a... Yeah, I'll do, I'll do this. this is fine. For honor and reward. Alright, so we got a surprise attack somehow. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, we're gonna battle cry into several attacks. So unfortunately, the game is forcing me to fight on multiple fronts, which is... Kinda hard to do very efficiently, but we'll try. At least rallying rally, pretty much. I just want to put his ability on cooldown. This is all I'm essentially trying to do, so battle cry here will be good. Uh, we're gonna go for hail, see if she resists it. If she does, we meteor shower and punishment. She didn't resist it. I think the game is somewhat knowledgeable in expert mode what spells I have left. This is still bad for her. Why have we level up his magic ability? Because he's going to need it to get through Kai Wenki, I think. Should help even things out a bit. Wow, that did very little damage, despite how powerful that was. I think I'm going to Ice Storm if I get a little closer. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Rally, and then I'm going to focus on the other characters. I want to make sure everybody's rallied up. Okay, let's focus on the other people. I can't get bogged down in just beating as one person. So we evened out the morale. This stupid 
Ugh, this idiot. <laughs> He's now making Zia Hao Duan getting attacked on multiple fronts. So that's really unfortunate because I did not want that to happen. That was like the specific scenario I didn't want to do. Right, so we're going to move forward. We're going to battle cry into a charge and then we're just going to clean up as needed. Please go into actual battle. Oh, that's such a brutal battle cry. Please move just a few steps forward. So remember, the closer they are to the source, the more morale they lose. That is a brutal battle cry. You fool. You're going to fight me? So this alone would make them very susceptible to my charge that I'm about to do. I could try to level Lujan here. Well, Kai Wengi. Uh, I don't feel like messing around. Let's just kill them. Oh my gosh, chat. Oh my gosh. This is going to be nasty. Take them down and destroy them. To keep in mind, I just lowered the resistance to this. Even if they have good war ability, this is just absolutely nasty. Almost half their troop in one shot. Uh, We're just going to Ice Storm. If she blocks it, whatever. If she doesn't block it, she dies. Okay. John, I'm okay with this. So that way we use one ability on each general, so it'll be on cooldown due to their proximity on the storehouse. Or off cooldown, I mean. Sooner. So I'm kind of okay with this if they don't want to block. And wow, she actually magicked up on that. Wow, that is that is painful, chat. That is painful how good that was. Okay, we're gonna try to separate them out. See how Duan, is there anything you could do by yourself over here in the meantime? Do you have any abilities that would be useful? Battle Cry would be not bad. Although our whole army is shifting. What is happening? I thought they were static. Why are they moving so much? I feel like I missed a lot of people because they moved, but this will help. So Battle Cry comes off cooldown pretty quickly. We just need Dang Ai to take them off of us. We'll go to Himiko now. Who's still not in battle for some reason. That's kind of annoying. We're going to have to force the AI to burn some spells. So I think I'm just going to walk up an Ice Storm if the game lets me. And if it doesn't let me, I'll just Meteor Shower them in that order. They seem to not like resisting uh, Ice Storm for some reason. So I'm going to just try to punish this. Okay, if I move a little further forward, this will be one of the most brutal Ice Storms. So if they let this go through chat, this is really bad for them. Oh, I went to the wrong side. Damn. Other side. Turn around. Other side. Other side. No, other side. Wanted to charge over here. Stop bonking. Stop. Okay, this should be a brutal ice storm. Yeah. Wait, now they moved again. Wait a minute. What is going on? I'm so confused. Oh, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. Okay, thank you. Just her rotating a lot is disoriented me. Okay, this should be good. Yeah, that's good. She did. I wonder if Ice Storm, they just don't know how to block it. I'm gonna be real with you. They should have iron walled this. This is gonna kill so many troops, chat. Like, I don't care what her magic resistance is. This hit her whole army. Ooh, she's still resistant to it. That's not good. Uh, I'll try to hail then. Something like this, maybe? She didn't resist that either. So we have two spells of hers on cooldown. We're going to hopefully support her with Sal Sal. And then we're going to go back to our other generals. As I said before, we just want to rotate through abilities, burn as many as we can. Because we're so close to the storehouse, we should get them back at a decent pace. This is just free damage on the enemy team. So unfortunately, did not do a lot of damage to Kai Wanky. Her magic must be very high. Let's go to Huzi, who we haven't done anything with in a while. Um... We just try to rush them if we can. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good rush, but we gotta move a little closer to them, I think. Yeah, that's that's a much more effective rush. Follow me and charge. Oh. 
brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. That hit so many units, chat. And then we think we could just finish him off with a raid. Although, honestly, he's got so few people left. Before ability increase. Darn right it did. I mean, I guess I could do something like this. Out of my way if you oh, she got stuck for the first few seconds. That sucked. Oh, I could have raided their uh, archers. Oops, I didn't see them until just then. I thought they were all in combat because I saw the archers literally on the, uh, the front line. I do love that it looks like we killed all of our own people. Alright, so I should just be able to charge this a couple times. This is pretty over. So we leveled up War Ability twice. Sao Sao Iron Walled, nice. So we're doing our best here. The so Huzi will be able to assist in just a little bit. We haven't played as Dang Ai at all, so let's see if we can get him to do anything. Do we have a rally at least? We do have a rally. Okay, there's no reason not to use this. Prepare to sacrifice everything that you have for this battle. This will help keep our troop count high. And then we might as well as Fireball, even though it's terrible. Because I don't think this character is Iron Wall. Opposing us. Yeah, they don't. Though I don't expect this to do damage, it'll confuse them. They'll be confused at how terrible our Fireball is. And that's all we need them to be confused about. <laughs> I mean, Chad, come on. We're this far in the game. He's going to single Fireball. Like, come on. I mean, he might get like 100 kills. We'll, we'll get maybe 900 kills. Fireball! I'll, I'll be optimistic. He might get some kills here, maybe. That was probably the most damaging single fireball I've ever seen. So anyway, we uh, what a pain. now have troop and morale advantage. See how Duan actually doing really well here, all things considered. Is there anything else he could do here? A duel, but she's not going to accept the duel, unfortunately. So he's kind of in trouble if we don't get more assistance. Teng Yu's losing troops at a pretty rapid rate. Is there anything he could do? Oh, well, Lidian is about to get Rally again, but that's not useful. Yujin has two spells. Or not Yujin, Cheng Yu has two spells. So I could... I could Ice Storm again. We've seen before, Ice Storm is really brutal if they don't block it, and they tend not to block it. Like, that right there should just be GG if they don't block this. They're not blocking it. You know what, Chan? If the game just wants me to win, I'm just saying, like, I would be in so much trouble if she ironballed at any point. But okay. Great equalizer. Leveled his magic again. That's gonna be kind of a shame that we're not gonna keep this one. Just from the standpoint of just look how many... Look how many spell levels we got, but that's fine. We're, we're gonna obey Chad's wishes. But man, oh man, is that just brutal. Okay, we'll go back to Himiko. Himiko is losing pretty pretty profusely here. She did get Meteor Shower back, so or Lightning, I mean, so might as well just try it. Um, yeah, we, we might still get it with Dionway. It'll just be trickier. I See, I thought she was going to be, you know, Iron Walling us, but I mean, if the AI is stupid, it's like, like, I'll just get the level ups then. It's fine. Yeah, this should be good. She'll probably iron wall this. Yeah. Okay, so we forced her to burn it, Chad. This is important. So we're now... We should definitely get a spell back before she gets iron wall back. Because we're almost literally adjacent to the storehouse. So now we're going to check on the other people, see if they got any abilities back. That is the advantage of fighting at the storehouse. Our abilities do recharge fairly quickly. That's fine. Nothing we can do about this battle. She'll generally lose this one slowly. Sao Sao's almost done. Sao Sao's kind of a monster. Um, We got hail. I guess I could try to hail them. Uh, I mean, Chad, if they just let me do this, that's, that's on them. I think they were seeing I had Meteor Shower and wanted to hold on to Meteor Shower, but spoilers. I'm okay with just doing this. So yeah, we'll have Sao Sao's protect Himiko, which I'm sure Himiko would love. 
What an absolutely brutal icicle attack. It is indeed an icicle disaster for them. Oh, she leveled up. So she's only one magic level away from level three chat. That's a, that's important knowledge to tuck away. So she needs one more good spell in order to level three. Ooh. Wow, that horse went flying, as did that other person. Yeah, that's gonna be brutal. And she leveled magic again. Wow, that is that is painful brutal. Okay, what ability does she have? Do I have left? I have rally? Yeah, that doesn't matter. I guess we charge a couple times. Go to Hoozy, see if anything recharged here. Just duel. That's not useful. So Hoozy and Sao Sao are done. We've won those fights. Hey, how Duan, did you recharge any abilities? I don't know. Kang Yu, did you recharge any abilities? Sort of? I don't need Rally. Like, we're actually doing good morale-wise. Um, I feel like Meteor Shower would be pushing it here. But I guess we could push it. I doubt she'll let this go through. Yeah. I, I feel like the game looks at their our power level of spells on Expert and actually tries to decide what to block. But the thing is, is if you just use a bunch of weak spells and then don't, do, don't use your strong spell, then they just don't Iron Wall. So I feel like we could kind of play around that. Much we could do there. She should lose this battle eventually. Uh, don't think there's anything else we could really do. I guess I could just bully them as Sao Sao or something. Game, please let me select Sao Sao. I don't. I don't know what was happening there, Chad. I hit up repeatedly and it just skipped Sao Sao multiple times. I hit. I had to hit left that time for it to register. Um. Yeah, I don't even see the point of using Meteor Shower. She's just gonna block it. And I'm not that close to getting another spell. Let's just bully her repeatedly. But she is very stubborn and is not even at red morale yet, despite the troop advantage. There we go. Now it's draining rapidly. Just charge repeatedly. There we go. We're in a race with Hoozy, who will get the kill first. Might be me. Honestly, I do really outnumber them hard. And I am charging repeatedly. Come on, let's go. The race for the first kill. The Hoozy, I think, will sweep around to the right and assist Madai, and then that will result in another kill. Not bad. The Kaiwengi we defeated was a fake! Oh no, Chad, it was a fake! Yeah, Sao Sao will just go down and end the fight. Hoozy's almost done. Let's go to Hoozy's point of view and end the enemy. Dai being very stubborn, not even losing troops. His morale is plummeting pretty much every second is a percent, so he's got maybe about six seconds left. One, two, oh, just two more. I know, it's completely inconceivable. So let's bring Huzi this way. So now Himiko should be fine. Cheng Yu slowly winning. Dihao Doom didn't get his ability back, so we might as well as Battle Cry. But I think I wanna. Yeah, I wanna do this one. This will hit more targets. 
There's the benefit of the recharge. So even though he's by himself, he's doing okay. So now he'll be tankier. So he'll be able to hold out a little longer, I think. Dang I actually surprisingly doing well against the assistant enemy. I guess the other enemy wasn't very strong. We have another rally recharged here, but that's not useful for us. We'll go back to Cheng Yu. I'm close to you to getting another spell. Okay. So we did get an ability back. Unfortunately, it was rally. We have iron walls to deny the enemy forever. This will battle cry, better than nothing. The Cheng Yu should also automatically win, and this will help significantly. Because that'll stop us from losing as many troops. I think she has better war ability than us, but her morale is so terrible that it might be okay still. We'll go back to Himiko. Himiko, is there anything you want to do to speed this up? Do you have any spells? We got one spell. Huh. Right, chat, better than nothing. Might as well burn it. But she's losing a lot of troops. So we know the we know the real Kaiwengi, I think, comes from the south. So she's kind of in trouble if she's our bait blocker. But we'll have Sao Sao, I think, protect her. Again, this won't do a ton of damage because they split their army, but the confusion mixed with Sao Sao reinforcements should be a very brutal effect on the enemy. Ooh, and he just regained Battle Cry. That is brutal for them as well. You fool. You're going to fight me? Again, that'll protect Himiko because he's lowering the damage they deal. Uh, do I even need to rally? No, I don't. Lushan could Meteor Shower if I wanted to. I think at this point it just makes sense to charge a couple times. So, I th yeah, now they're losing a lot of troops. That's how you can tell they're confused when they lose that many troops. So, I don't mean Himiko will stop losing morale. They should be even in force size now. And now they definitely have advantage. So you can look at how fast she's losing troops. Holy. So that Kai Wengi is getting blown up. Yeah, now that we have a character with war ability here, it'll protect Himiko. Yeah, you can see Sao Sao is losing almost literally nothing. 1, 2, 2, 9, 6, they, we've been static there for a while. So that's how you know she's done. <laughs> right, chat? Like, we're literally not even losing troops. That That is sad. She's just getting absolutely wrecked right now. Oh, who's he? What are you doing? I thought you were moving south. Pay attention to what you're doing. Um, We'll have you, I guess, join in. Yeah, that's fine. Let me join attack. Wow. The fight's already almost- Wow, we're, we've almost completely won without reinforcements. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I mean, I have no reason to just not keep charge attacking here. I mean, our war ability is just so high compared to theirs. There's nothing they can do. So goodbye, Kai Wengi. We got three blinking dots. I was gonna say two. Now it's two. <laughs> now cry and then scream. Today something was wrong. I just wasn't feeling very well. Okay. The so Cheng Yu will have some time to recover some spells in case he needs to defend. The Kai Wengi we defeated was a fake. Oh no, she was a fake chat. 
Oh, I forgot. I do have to do something after the stream. Hmm. Oh, we just immediately engaged at a battle. Interesting. We won the glory of victory. So unfortunately, Chad, I think I do have to stop after this, this one. I forgot. There's something I have to do around 12. But uh, there's a lot of stuff I have to do leading into it. Anyway. Um, hmm. So it doesn't really matter what happens here. Only with Ice Storm. Let's pull it up for me to do anything fun. We are getting our abilities back pretty quickly. Now we just need Hoozy to just come in and finish things, I think. We'll let our spells recharge in the meantime. We'll live we'll leave Dang Ai back in case there's like an extra unit that appears an expert above us. Otherwise, I think the three people on the right will just move down and end the fight. Let's go to see how Duan and finish things here. So I guess because I'm so close to this storehouse, I'm just I'm just getting like pumped full of morale or something. I feel like in any other scenario it would have been at like zero morale. Split it up a bit. Yeah, we're sweet. Today something was wrong. I just wasn't feeling very well. The Kaiwengi we defeated was a fake. Okay, this should trigger her to appear, even though there's one left. Okay, okay, so it works. Now let's show them how tough we can really be. Get our revenge! Oh, look, another fake. Something like that, John. I think now what we need to do is swing around with Sao Sao and end the fight. Yeah, that Kai Wengi is about to get dumpstered. And we don't really care if they fight Cheng Yu or not, because we've been saving our spells. Yeah, so they're very likely to attack there, which is okay. Now, Sal, why are you not moving? What are you doing? What the heck is the what was Did you see what it was doing? What was that movement? Why would you go up to go? Mind, mind broken chat. I'm glad I interrupted whatever you want to call that. That that was pretty trash, as we like to say. <laughs> like that that movement actually made no sense. It wanted to go up to go right to go down, but there's like five generals between it and the destination. What are you doing? Game please. Seriously, stop it. It's ridiculous. Anyway. We're gonna steamroll, steamroll Kai Wengi. Let's see how Duan, this should be a fast fight. Yeah, I just wanted him to go down and he was just like, he literally didn't move for like 20 seconds. <laughs> this one which is pretty special. bad. That's pretty bad in an RTS to just have a unit not move for that long. Even though you told them to move already, they were just spinning in circles. And in fact, going away from their destination, that's how bad that was. Anyway, South South should be able to intercept and we should be fine. Okay, did he, did he learn his lesson? Did he figure out how to go Sal? Good job, Sal Sal, you did it. Now actually join the fight and end this fight. I think this went pretty well overall. I mean, aside from the stupidity of whatever that movement was. Um... She actually does not have... Any... Iron walls. Interesting. Okay, well, punishment time. Goldy <laughs> shower, indeed. I figured we use it before Sao Sao joins in. There's a decent chance it would uh, get magic up.
We're about to be in a lot of trouble when the Confuse wears off, so hopefully South Tower will arrive by that point. We're outnumbered almost 3 to 1, troop wise. Okay, South Tower is coming in. Okay, I think we're good now. Lucy just needs to bully him out of existence. I'm not going to bother splitting experience because I think Champ will not pick this one as per discussion earlier. I'd rather not worry about micromanaging. We'll just take the easy victory. Where's the Leon Stone Blast sound when we need it? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, they're just getting absolutely crushed right now. I'm still waiting on that Tales of Destiny remake translation. Whatever you want to call it. I guess technically HD. Bye, Kai Wengi. Wow, she had so many troops left. She died with 7k. That's more than some of our troops have currently. That's kind of embarrassing. The Kai Wengi we defeated was a fake! Oh no, chat. She was a fake all along. Who would have seen it coming anyway? Uh, we'll move Cheng Yu out, though, because I don't feel like he'll contribute to the fight. I'll move Hu Zi forward. Yeah, we'll move Hu Zi forward. Don't... If I'm able to, I'd rather group them up for Sao Sao's ability. I'm assuming it's basically off cooldown. It is not. But we have two spells. That'll be brutal. Meteor Shower and Hail. Okay. So once they rejoin, I'm just going to hit them with the spell. It should be over. I mean, they can't beat Sao Sao in general. So. Give our allies more time to escape. There we go. Director's Cut is the official title. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy battle cry. You fool. You're going to fight me? Now that they're all merged, let's just go ahead and meteor shower this fight out of existence. Oh, well, that's gonna be a pretty strong meteor shower. Goodbye. I don't expect that last bit to do a lot. They were all kind of clumped together. This flash damage should do okay. Oh, Ray, she's level 3, so she got the Omega Meteor. Never mind. We, we made the right choice. Because that's going to hit basically everybody. Oof. And then I guess we just turn around with Cheng Yu and that'll end the fight faster? Surprise attack against Kai Wengi was a success. Oh, she's so done. Chat, as we like to say, GG. <laughs> I can't believe that counted as a surprise attack, but whatever. She's done. We have arrows, a back attack. Yeah, her morale is just going to hit zero very rapidly at this point. I don't even think I'm going to be able to raid with Uzi before she dies. You can see her morale is just plummeting at this point because she's in a 2v1 while being hit by arrows. Yeah, I'll just charge a couple times. This fight's over. I think the animation of the charge is not worth watching. Giant boulder from the sky would surprise most people. Maybe, but in this wacky world, that could just be a Tuesday. The enemy general has been defeated. We've won! You who defy the mandate of heaven, learn your lesson.
I'm here to report that our army is strong and our country prospers from the spoils of war. Okay. The one down. Southside leveling, Sun Yu leveling. Who's he going to Armored Spear is pretty important. So hopefully we'll get My that with Lord, the other choice. I present to you Kai Wengi. You would have me join forces with you in order to calm this storm? And you would forgive me as well? Excellent. From now on, I will fight on your side. It'd never be useful, so it's not worth it. Oof. Let's save this. Sorry, Liu Bei, expert campaign. So I think next time we'll complete the other stages. Let's chat a little bit. How do we feel things went? Well, I think today went pretty well, even though we only did a couple of stages. Um, we saw the AI completely break on the prior stage. And we have some future game knowledge that we're only like one magic level up from Lu Zhen hitting max uh, spell level. Not max magic necessarily, but max spell level. And it looks like the other spellcasters might need two more versus one more. So we are pretty much at almost full power with the magicians. And keep in mind, you know, if there's going to be about 11 stages or so and we can't use it on the naval battle... I only really care about having it for the final three stages, so if we get it earlier, it's nice, but not needed. So stage 8, I think, will be one of our big opportunities to fix that. And then after that, hopefully we have it on a majority of our characters. If not, it's not the end of the world. We tried. We, we got denied CME's magic level. But uh, that extended battle with Pang Tong basically fixed a lot of our weaker generals. In the, in the sense that we got a lot more duels in, and we also got more general abilities because we took more time to fight the people in the forest, etc. So I think we're in an extremely good shape for beating the rest of the game. I don't really have any concerns between now and the end of the game, other than the true final stage, because I haven't played it before. Um, Yeah, that, that's about it. I, I think overall, I'm looking forward to it. We're at a good power level. We have really good fame overall. We have good war abilities. So we just need to keep leveling, and the game is just going to get easier and easier at this point. Because what are they going to do? Get more war abilities? No, they already have four or five war abilities. Nothing's really going to change there. So we're just going to catch up to their power level in two or three more stages versus them overshadowing us. So, joke's on them, I guess. But for now, chat, more fake wankies. Yeah, the only thing that'll happen is they'll get more troop size, but we'll have more abilities by then to counteract it. So I'm okay with it. But anyway, chat, unfortunately, I do have to go. So we'll give a sign off to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video, video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.